Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new player of the month, Valverde card to review. EA, thank you so much for making your SBCs price-based and not off of your new team building solution. Thank you so much. I appreciate it so much. You guys actually have a few Ws this year, which is the first time in absolute years, okay? You just base it off of the price. Thank you so much, okay? You guys know me, man. I'm a very honest person with this kind of, with, with this kind of stuff. Guys, Valverde looks like a card that's potentially going to be full meta. Let's be honest, okay? We're taking a look at a card who is six foot tall, high, high work rates, right footed, three star skills, the four star weak foot. This is a card that I mainly see being used in the center mid position as a person that can push forward, come back, as well as a CDM by himself or a CDM next to somebody else where he can push forward, come back, or even on top of that, a player that could be on stay back. There are so many options to work with when it comes to this Valverde card. In-game player traits, he has the long shot taker injury prone traits. In-game attributes, guys, as we know with accelerates being a thing this year, we have to take a look at certain things. So you could obviously see that the card is controlled right now, which kind of makes him a little bit more default, right? Some people have given him the shadow chemistry style regardless, which again would be a perfectly fine option, boosting his pace, giving him the defense and then working with the controlled accelerate. OK, but you guys know how midfielders work this year. If you give this bad boy an architect chemistry style, he turns into a lengthy player. Right. So with him being physical oriented, giving him a, uh, you know, physicality boost, a passing boost, animations in game being changed this could be an absolutely crazy card in game right so again just to kind of refresh just to see what's up with this card i mean it's a good thing we actually saw that he was a uh, thing huh not even available to load well i made a mistake refreshing but hey architect chemistry style is going to be the choice uh for this card so let me see if i actually have that already in the club architect 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 let me see. Um, I don't think I do. No, I would have to get that afterwards. But the architect chemistry style, you know, let's just uh, go through them. Basic boom, boom, right? Nothing has been controlled. Boom. Architect gives him lengthy. Right. So it's just architect. So that's the chemistry style that we have to give him to test the melt with the lengthy um, accelerates, right? So with the architect chemistry style, it's a card that has good pace. He has a good shooting for a midfielder. He's got the four star weak foot, which is a huge plus. Very physical oriented card because of the fact that he's six foot tall with a unique body type. Physical stats are there in the strength and aggression department. Jumping being low is not necessarily a big deal because he's already a very tall player. Passing in a fantastic area with a four star weak foot. Dribbling for how this game plays out in the midfield position also in a fantastic area but the fact that his defense is already good as it is with the lengthy accelerate is a really crazy thing to work with so i'm gonna go ahead and give him uh the architect chemistry style with this team we will be mainly using the 412 and two tactics i'm probably gonna be trying out uh the new tactic that the um 16 year old kid actually made as well just to try out something different because you guys know i always like to try out some different stuff so yeah gonna give him that chemistry style gonna line up in a 412 and two and see how he plays yeah, so it'll be lined up like this, guys. Uh, it's a new 4, 1, 2, and 2. I'm not crazy familiar with it because it's going to be the first game that we actually tried out. But it's perfect for the review because Valverde will be on the get into the box with the cross uh, instruction. I just, I'm, I might have to, I have to see if it's cover center or cover wing. But that's how we're going to be using him to test out attacking and defending. Oh, bro, you see what I'm saying about the get into the box uh, for the cross instruction for your center mids? Like they get involved, bro, I'm telling you. Oh, you know, I got to go for that wind up. It was a really well weighted pass there initially. Wow, a driven pass being consistent there with Valverde. That's fantastic.
even with the weak foot. Driven passes with certain players, guys, is not like too crazy. So that's actually really nice. Yeah, nice to have the physical to be able to uh, get the ball in the air like that. Huge meta for this year as well with all the pressure tactics and stuff. Oh, that second man press. Beautiful. Oh, that was amazing. Dude, this card is going to be crazy in the midfield position for sure. Oh, just small, you see? You got to caress the left stick a tiny bit, create those small little dribbles. Beautiful finish. Dude, I'm telling you, it's good. The big players like this Valverde card, especially on this Architect, I'm pretty sure he's going to be nasty, man. Nice clearance. Get that Valverde. Oh, try to get like that headed touch. His driven passes are consistent. I'm telling you, some certain cards, guys, like having good passing stats, is, it makes a difference this year. Like passes like that. Oh, man. I got the green on the finesse. You never know. Oh, unlucky. Bro, the attacking AI, I'm telling you guys, is significantly better this year. Those, like, certain runs and whatnot. Nice try, nice try, good build up. Super well weighted pass. Oh, that's a horrible shot. I should have probably done a, done a finesse shot instead. But um, guys, in a situation like that, you could see that even though he's a big, stronger dude, he could still do those small little intricate touches without me doing like L1s or R1s, you know? No, if my player wasn't so dumb there. What a pass though, man. Anything helps, man. Anything helps. We'll take it. I really like his dribbling considering how big he is. It's very, very good. I'm telling you, I can really work with those small intricacies with him. Oh, good uh, defensive AI. Nice stuff. We'll take that goal. I literally score that because it's driven pass is so good. I'm telling you guys this right now, I literally score that because his driven is so good. That's why I'm telling you guys, when I made that gameplay like analysis video, you gotta be careful what you're asking for, you know? Because once you get the good players, oh, I'm lucky. It makes a huge difference. Oh, it's mine. Look, see, that's what happens when you just go for random challenges, man. Sometimes you get lucky. Yeah, why not, you know? Back to the FIFA 22 roots. <laughs> Yeah, he still feels fast, man. Like, you don't have to worry about that, honestly. Nice. 
Nice. Good reach there. Okay. We take the jam. Because he has the weak foot, he's able to score that opportunity. It doesn't matter. Oh, unlucky. The kickoffs, men, are crazy in this game. Dude, look at the state. I, I don't have a shooting boost on Rafinha, by the way. That's why he shoots it like that on the green. Um, look at the state of Valverde's passes, man. Look at that. It doesn't, like, listen, I know it's completely jammy, but the passes, man, the passes, huge, huge deal. Like, he's a beast at them. Beautiful build up again. What a shot cancel. Beautiful shot cancel. Well, at least it applies enough pressure there. On you guys. This is the end of the game, and like, considering how big he is, his dribbling is solid. Would have been a nice goal there. Would have been nice, man. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the Valverde card. So guys, listen, you got to give this bad boy the architect chemistry style to change his uh, accelerate to lengthy because these lengthy players perform really, really well in game, right? Guys, this is the type of card that you can pretty much use in any of the midfield position and he'll offer you something regardless of what you want. If you want him to be your box-to-box -box center mid, he can do that. If you want him to be your more defensive-oriented card, he could do that. There's so many different ways of using this Valverde card in your team that it is absolutely fantastic. Now, the difference between him and the Inform card is absolutely nothing because that's what the uh, chemistry style right but there's no stat difference right so whether or not you want to get the right wing version for the position because it is very helpful to have him in the right wing position to line him up in the center mid area while putting two other center mids and then two attackers if you're playing like a five back or depending on what you're doing with your lineup it's going to be very important to work with so the difference between both of them is literally just the position change what i will say about this card guys is that as an sbc that is out for the entire month and you don't have to do these crazy chemistry solutions for me personally if you unlock this card for your team i genuinely think that he is absolutely fantastic for how the meta of this game plays out in general this year the fact that you can give him the lengthy accelerates while giving him the architect chemistry style is a massive plus because guys the architect chemistry style improves very good areas of the card right in regards to passing capabilities which is incredibly noticeable for this card giving him that extra physical boost so for me personally, if you guys are deciding whether or not you want to put your fodder into this SBC, whether you want to get him from market value and whatnot, depending on the situation of your club, because obviously some people have certain fodder and some people don't. The fact that this SBC is out for that month is a really big deal. For me personally, I think he's worth getting. He's an absolute monster in game. Thoroughly enjoyed using him for how this game plays out. It genuinely doesn't matter which area I use him in for the midfield. He's just good anywhere. So guys, Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.